Stay tuned guys, I'll show you how I prepared this delicious tasty salt mackerel, dumpling, pumpkin and green banana. I know in lots of countries they call it yellow banana or yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> we call it green banana. No, like six, yes. Six. Yeah. yeah what you Jamaica. Uh, <laughs> what yeah, you like, call it in your country? Uh, this one we call uh -huh. it green banana and uh -huh. this one plantain. Oh yeah, we say plantain. Yeah. But I read another person say yellow banana or big banana, but we say yeah. green. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Get me a bag. I'm gonna get some sweet potatoes too. So there's a little bit of everything here, guys. So I'm gonna be mate. I'm getting some tomatoes. I'm gonna be cooking up some salt mackerel. We can get avocado. Yeah, we can get avocado or pear. So guys, I got sweet potato. The sweet potato is from Egypt. Egypt sweet potato. I got green bananas. The green bananas are from the Philippines. I got so yeah, you can have a look at the prices. Um yeah, so the sweet potato was two dirhams 29 fills three fingers of ripe bananas and the bananas from the philippine too one dirham 80 fills they call this big they call plant guys they call planted um big banana so it's for three this three fingers and it's for three dirhams 72 fills and then I got some tomato, tomatoes from the UAE, and it's for one dirham and nine fills. And my total bill is 12 dirhams, 85 fills. So I'll tell you how much that is in Jamaican dollar and US dollar. So 25.85 dirhams. You can check that in your currency and see how affordable things are here so guys 12 dirhams 85 fills that's four dollars 48 cents canadian three dollar 50 cents us dollars that's 54.88 egyptian pound and in jamaican dollars that is 512 jamaican dollars so my Jamaican peeps, comment and tell me if six fingers of green banana, three fingers of ripe bananas, three finger of plantain, one sweet potato, and three tomatoes. My Jamaican peeps, comment and tell me if 512 Jamaican dollars is a lot for this. So guys, if you ever know how excited I am, I love, love salt mackerel. I don't know what they call it in your country, but I got this straight from Jamaica and I can't wait to cook it. Guys, I love salt mackerel so much. So guys, that's what I'm going to be cooking up today. Some salt mackerel and dumpling and banana, boiled plantain, piece of pumpkin. Guys. I'm going to show you what I'll be cooking up today. So now I have put the salt mackerel to boil to get out the excess salt. And then I'm going to go ahead and 
and start preparing these over here i'm gonna be using the banana um the sweet potato i also have pumpkin yes this is what the pumpkin looks like i'm gonna be using a piece of pumpkin here and of course i'm gonna have some plantain and dumplings of course so guys i changed my mind i won't be using any sweet potato today but i'll be doing just two fingers of a green banana i'm cooking for myself alone um a plantain i had before and pumpkin i had before so yes guys guys i haven't had green i don't remember if this probably this is the first or second time i am buying green banana since um here in the being here in the uae so yeah i don't remember but if i did buy green banana already it would have been this would have been my second time buying a green banana so i'm just gonna be doing two fingers of the banana I think I cut it too deep. I might have lost my touch of how to cook banana. <laughs> Maybe I have. I think I just cut it too deep. And this banana feels like it's almost on the ripe side. Like it would, you know, it's not so stainy. But nonetheless... I'm gonna see how it will come out. Yeah, it came out of the thing so easily. I think it probably was getting ripe. So I'll do two fingers of bananas. I've already washed the plantain. Yes, and now I'm gonna be peeling my pumpkin. Yes, guys. So here it is guys, I did three fingers of banana, two pieces of pumpkin, and two pieces of ripe plantain. So now I go over to my pot, the water is already hot. I'll now go ahead and add my plantain, pumpkin, and I added salt to the water guys. My bananas. I don't know how my bananas will come out guys because they feel like they were getting ripe I hope they don't break and the next guys I'm gonna make my dumplings so I'm gonna be needing the flour for my dumpling so here I am ready to make my dumplings Guys, you don't know how much it feels good. It's such a delight, guys, when you are able to eat something, when you can get to eat something that you love from back in your home country. Guys, there is an awesome feeling. And so, I so, guys, it's now time to add my dumplings. I think I made too much. But guys, do you fry over the boiled dumplings in where you're from? We Jamaicans, when we cook dumplings and we have some left over, we fry it in the morning. It's so good. So guys, it's time to get my seasoning ready. Here I have some... Uh, some persons call it green onion but it's scallion i had it looks mushy because i had it in the freezer yes i keep my scallion in the freezer to keep it longer fresh longer i'm using some onions just using half of an onion so i'm about guys to fry up my salt mackerel can't wait to taste it guys and that's it for my onions next I'll do my green 
bell pepper, or you can call it capsicum. Do my green bell pepper, then my red bell pepper also. A little bit more green I like when my when I'm doing salt fish or sweet or <laughs> salt mackerel and it has a lot of bell peppers in it I like my seasoning guys and can I tell you I don't eat onions and those things guys no I don't eat onions and it's recently I started eating these bell peppers so now I'm doing my tomato guys there's no salt fish without or salt mackerel without our tomato flavor so yeah i'm cutting up i won't use all of this tomato yes guys and lastly look at this rich color guys look at this look at that and lastly i'm gonna be adding some just a little piece of scotch bonnet pepper this pepper is really hot guys so i can't add too much of it it's really hot yes guys so guys as you can see the ground food is all cooked here is my seasonings and here is my oh my salt mackerel so guys i've already gone ahead and add the oil to the frying pan and it's hot so i'm just going to be frying up these seasonings guys mm, smelling so mm, mm, oh so good So I'm just let my seasons fry up for about two minutes and then I'll go ahead and add the salt mackerel so guys it's now time to go ahead and add my salt mackerel it's now time to add my salt mackerel guys this is so delicious guys Now I'll combine everything. Guys, if you could just smell this also goodness. Next guys, I'm going to be adding some black pepper. That's a lot. Guys, I don't know how you like your salt mackerel or your salt fish, but I like ketchup in my salt mackerel or salt fish. Remember, we all cook different ways, right? So even though I have um, tomato in it, I like ketchup on my salt fish and my salt mackerel. You don't have to add it like I said, but we cook to our likeness, right? Yes. So I like the taste of ketchup. On my salt mackerel and my salt fish guys if you could just smell this I can't wait to eat so I'll just leave this to simmer down for about two minutes and then guys this will be ready Woohoo! Hey guys, cooking up some salt mackerel here straight out of Jamaica. <laughs> Woo! Salt mackerel. Mm -mm -mm -mm.